Oh, oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. For some reason, every time that I like skip a day uploading to YouTube, the day after that, that I actually upload, it seems like a ton of people don't get the notifications because like my videos typically before midnight every night will hit about 10,000 views if I upload them anywhere from, I don't know, five in the afternoon to nine. It doesn't really seem to matter. Like by midnight or 1 a.m., there's 10,000 views. Yesterday's video, it's the next day by like noon. And my video from yesterday has only got like 5,000 views on it, which is like the weirdest thing ever. It is extremely low. And so I don't know if like, the algorithm gets thrown off when you upload every single day and then you skip a day and the next day it seems like a ton of people don't get notification but if you didn't see yesterday's video definitely go and check it out it was kind of like a drive in that truck with the new fuel plate stuff done on it and the afc housing tuning and stuff um it's actually a pretty good video i thought it was a really good video so i thought it kind of should have got a little bit more than 5,000 views on it but uh it, it'll still go up just kind of seemed a little bit odd anyways we got a hold of the light bar winner it is going to be shipping out to you very soon man so thank you guys so much, everybody who entered and bought the keychains. Really means a lot. What is up, Latin Pride Crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. We are actually back here to work on Big Stinky again. What we're gonna be installing today. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Like I said in uh, the Team LNP's video, which if you saw, if you're coming from Team LNP, um, that channel they got to see this first yesterday. But this is a pusher. Of course, these packing peanuts are falling everywhere. Uh, but this is a pusher intake horn for the big stink. Look at that color, guys. Oh my gosh. I don't know why on camera it looks so much different. Like when I'm looking through the camera, it makes it seem like almost like bleached out. But in person, the color is so much different. So I don't know what the problem is. I don't know why I can't get justice of it. But on camera, it looks like it's almost like a white with a light, light lime, a green color to it. But it's not. It's like a, it's, I don't know how, to, it's like a fluorescent green or super bright. I don't know how to put it, but it, it looks killer. Given the horsepower objectives and stuff like that with Big Stinky, this is the intake that we decided to go with on that truck. Now, Pusher has all different kinds of other systems from the entire intercool piping system. If you want to go bigger, you can do the entire thing. They have the Mega Twin uh, system as well. If you're, if you're doing more horsepower and more, you, want, you need more airflow to keep that engine running cool and efficient, um, they have Mega Twin system, which helps just keep the rear cylinders cool. And also, since it's a three and a half inch system, um, the Mega Twin system, it actually really helps with uh, airflow and everything like that. And you know, more air, more cold air runs better, more efficient, more air, more power, all that type of deal. You're definitely cool, and uh, you definitely, when it comes to airflow parts, Pusher, uh, they, they preach that like air is everything. That's like what they say, like air is everything. I'll leave a link to their website down in the description below. They have, I mean, they have stuff for all different trucks. Yeah, we're gonna get this one installed on Big Stinky, but given the horsepower objective being under 400, this one seems suffice for our needs. And in fact, even though this isn't a Mega Twin, and it's not got the rest of the intercool piping. This is still supposed to increase airflow, I think. It's a, th it's a full three inch. I think it's supposed to increase it. Don't wanna be wrong, but I thought it said up to 15 or 16%. Project should take a maximum of 20 minutes. This is a very, very easy process, very easy um, thing to do. Hopefully we can get it done easily and see, see what it looks like under the hood. I'm actually extremely excited to see how it looks like under the hood of this truck. I love having the shop all clean. So much room in here to just work. I mean, we have three full-size trucks in here, and if we parked them the right way, we could probably fit four. Most of you guys know what a factory 12-valve intake looks like, intake horn looks like, but uh, that's what we're dealing with. So all we're gonna do is take off that top band, undo the five bolts up top, well, actually six, if you include this little guy right there. But just one, two, three, four, five, six, and then just this one band clamp, and it should just come right off there. And then uh, she'd be very easily to install the next one. So we're gonna get to doing that right now.
we completed the task, it was pretty easy. It took me probably 15 minutes. Very easy. The only thing that's a little bit different about this one, obviously, than the factory is, of course, if you look there, see how that one has a nut up on top and the other one's a factory bolt. You're gonna use your two shorter factory bolts that are already on your intake horn for your back two. And then you're gonna have your third one, which you would have used for right here on your intake horn on your old one, but you're actually gonna use that on the back side back there. Cause now that you don't have that big block up top, they got a thread through. You're gonna use that bolt on the back and then they give you a little stud that you thread down into the block there. Because of that angle, you wouldn't be able to run a normal bolt. Um, you run, the, you thread the stud down in there to where you have just enough sticking out to thread a nut on there and then you slide your intake cord on and then you just put your washer down and thread the nut on and you're good to go. Then you just tighten it down until it's snug. Then you just gotta tighten down your band clamps there and then hook up your, your engine oil tab right to there on top of the intake cord and then that's it. And the tools that you use for this job, there's two little spots here right on the back that there's these two little tabs. I'm not exactly sure what those are for, some kind of ports probably so you can hook up some kind of gauges or something if you guys are looking to really monitor things. Um, but we don't have anything we're going to hook up to there. But there's just two little ports there that come with this and all you have to do is take a little bit of Teflon tape, just a little bit, and wrap around the thread and then um, just thread them down in with an Allen wrench. So all you have to use, this is the leftover hardware, one Allen wrench, Allen key, whatever you want to call it, I don't know, a uh, 10 millimeter with a little I guess you don't really have to have an extension, but it helps. Half inch wrench, and then just, I think this is just an 11 millimeter. And this 11 millimeter is just for your um, band clip. Now, I'm not sure if anybody wants this intake horn or if I should just keep it for myself, but if there's anybody out there that would like to purchase this off of me, just let me know. It's all painted up. I don't know if anybody out there wants a silver intake horn, factory, second gen intake horn, but if you do, let me know. Email is probably the best way to get a hold of me. And they do give you instructions. I didn't use them because it's pretty straightforward anyway, but they are there and they are provided if you need them. We now have pusher parts under Big Stinky. Got the decal under there. Also got pusher parts under the hood of Nasty Red. Nasty Red's actually got quite a bit more under the hood. It's actually got the Mega Twin intake. And it's got the pusher low mount compound turbo system in it, which is a pretty, pretty incredible system, if I must say so. You can see the big old Borg Warner S475 down in there, tucked away. It's crazy, crazy. Easy, easy to install stuff too, by the way. And then we've even got pushers up under the hood of the first gen. Let me show you. Yeah, there we are under the hood of the first gen. Uh, this is the entire intake system as well actually on this one the entire intercool system the first gens have so much room under the hood it's insane absolutely crazy how much room is under the hood of this truck this one's got the actually the pusher cold air intake system too we love the pusher products um, ever since this truck, we've actually got them under the hood of seven, oh, under the 732, but ever since we bought the pusher intake parts for this truck, we just had to have them for all the others ever since then. We were like, yeah, we love the product. We love the, you know, the quality, the build quality. The, everything's just held up well and it's helped the trucks perform much better. So actually all four of the trucks that, that are sitting back here, pusher parts in them. And actually Dooley's going to have some pusher parts under the hood too. So definitely excited. Take your guesses what he thinks in that box. Yeah, just super, super cool stuff. Anyways, guys, that is probably gonna put a wrap on this video. Just a real quick short video. I actually got my grandparents coming in town and they're probably gonna be pulling up here any minute, so I'm gonna try to spend some time with them. Don't get to see them too often. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that little intake install video. I still wanted to try to get you guys something today, even though we're gonna have a busy weekend here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little video. Definitely go and check out the new channel, Team LNP. I named it basically after the brand. Cool stuff going on over there as well. It's just kind of like different content. It's just kind of like little sneak peek stuff extra footage, just random whatever I feel like posting. But yeah, you guys seem to be loving it. All the videos are getting thousands of views. The channel's blowing up. We're probably gonna pass 4,000 subscribers on that channel in just a day or two yet. So you guys are just absolutely killer. So thank you guys so much. Um, definitely smash a like on this video. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to go watch yesterday's video because it was a cool one as well. Totally different. It was actually a drive in Big Stinky and going over what I had done to it and stuff like that. So definitely cool stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.
Peace.